hello my lovelies and welcome back to creations by simone all right guys thank you for stopping by the open collaboration towards the night before christmas i along with my beautiful co-hosts are going to bring you some awesome traditions of what we do with our family on christmas eve and we want to see yours as well i'm going to have all the ladies that co-hosted with me down in the description box below please make sure you go check them out guys i hope you are ready let's sit back grab that coffee that cocoa milk whatever you got grab it Twas the night before Christmas. Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas would soon be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out of the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up a sash. The moon on the breast of a new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wonder I should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them net by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer, now Vixen, or Comet, or Cupid, or Donner, and Blixen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before, the wind hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the courses they flew, with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof, the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and turned it around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was full dressed in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opened his sack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose was like a cherry. His drool little mouth was drawn like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as snow. The stump of his pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it enriched his head with a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook with me laugh like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside on his nose and giving a nod of the chimney, he rose. He sprang to his sleigh to the team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like down of a thistle. But I heard him explain, or as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all, good night. Hello my lovelies and welcome back to Creations by Simone. All right guys, it is Christmas Eve and I wanna thank you for joining the collaboration towards the night before Christmas. I am hosting this awesome collaboration along with my beautiful, beautiful co-hosts, which I will have all their information down in the description box below. Guys, tonight we are bringing you family traditions whatever your family tradition is we wanted to share it with you as we will share ours with you as well now guys i want you to support all the co-hosts and like i said up there information is down in the description box below so please go and support them now i want to share my family tradition i have been doing this ever since my kids were little and my kids are uh, now grown women they are married they have children of their own i still have one left at home but um now I still do this with my little girl as well. I bake cookies every Christmas Eve. Um, not homemade, just Pillsbury chocolate chip cookies.
cookies and I've done this since my oldest daughter was little and it's just been a family tradition what I normally do is I bake chocolate chip cookies and then we look at the movie it's a wonderful life this is one of my favorite favorite movies guys and once we get into further into the video I'm gonna go over that but right now we're gonna go ahead and bake these cookies now as I said we're just using plain Pillsbury cookies and what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna cut these up and we're gonna put them on our cookie sheet I bought the super big roll I do every year because we just pick out on cookies all Christmas Eve night with our milk so now that I have them all cut up guys what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them in the oven and we are gonna bake all of these cookies and before we get started we have to preheat that oven let's preheat the oven to 350 once we get that preheated and started up then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna place our cookies in the oven so we have it preheated now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add these in I turn my oven light on so we can see what's going on and I have these cute little pans that I bought um, from Walmart the nonstick cookie sheets I like these they come with the parchment paper so all I have to do is cut my cookies put them in and I am good to go all right my lovelies now let's let these bake and then we will go from there All right, my lovelies, we are finished with the cookies. Now what we're gonna do is put them on this beautiful cookie Christmas plate here. They look nice and golden brown. And this plate, guys, I have had this for years. I think maybe about 20 to 25 years. I got this a while ago um, when they used to have the Hallmark card stores. I believe they still have them, not as many, but they do still have them. It's like you buy so many Hallmark items and they gave you a free cookie plate. I, like I said, I've had this for years. It's beautiful, um, it's sturdy, and I use it every year for my Christmas baking all right so we almost have all our cookies on there oh they look so good they're warm they're delicious can't wait to get into them all right guys so once we get all these on here and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna set them aside and I'm gonna let you know how they turned out guys and as you can see, they look delicious. I don't think the camera does any justice. You have to actually be here and smell these <laughs> to get the full effect of these cookies, guys. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to make our hot cocoa. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get our hot cocoa made. Now, as you can see, um, we have some hot cocoa from... Starbucks and this is for the Keurig um, coffee maker a long time ago um, I used to use just a packet of cocoa mix but you know as time progresses and things get more advanced now we have the little pop in so I'm gonna go ahead and pop that into the coffee maker and it will come out just as cocoa-y and rich as if we were to make it in the microwave I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of these in my cabinet right here put that away and then we'll go ahead and get started with our cocoa mix now, as you can see, guys, uh, we have our cute little Santa cup here. Got this from Walmart like a couple of years ago, and I love this little Santa cup. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to start the cocoa. Basically, we just put the little pot in there, and as you know, just push that button up at the top, and voila, we have some hot cocoa. I think this is such a great idea. You know that you can put coffee in here, but when the winter comes, you can pop a pot in there for the cocoa. This is just absolutely amazing technology these days it makes everything easy for us and that's for the better so all right my lovely so now that we have that made we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add our ready whip here now as you can see I have my ready whip I'm gonna shake that up and I'm gonna put it all on top of my cocoa oh my goodness ah, I am gonna gain like so much weight for these next few days but you know what who cares I'm gonna enjoy the holidays now as you can see guys we have our chocolate chocolate cookies we have our hot cocoa mix loaded up with our ready whip and we are ready to go guys I think we're about ready to look at that movie now as you can see I have my milk here as well now my daughter likes milk I like cocoa so we just compromise between the both of us but what we're going to do now guys is we're going to get ready to look at my favorite favorite movie of all time it's a wonderful life I love this movie um, I have my cookies here I have my milk I have my cocoa I am ready to sit back Back and show you the second part of my family tradition all right let the movie begin all right guys we are getting to the second part of my family tradition now, I have been doing this for the last 30 to 35 years kid you not um, I have baked cookies I have um, 
drank my milk. <laughs> I have made hot cocoa. I've done this on Christmas Eve. And after I do all that, I look at a movie called It's a Wonderful Life. Now, It's a Wonderful Life is about a character by the name of George Bailey. He spent his entire life, guys, giving of himself to other people and to the people of Bedford Falls. Um, he had always longed to travel, um, you know, explore the world, but he never got the opportunity to do that. You know, he spends his entire life giving up his big dreams for the good of his town, Bedford Falls. Um, but in the present on Christmas Eve, he is broken and suicidal over uh, the misplacing of an $8,000 loan um, that a malicious evil millionaire, Mr. Potter, um, tried to set him up. And God sent him a guardian angel and the guardian's angel's name was Clarence. And Clarence falls to earth literally to show him how his town, how his family, how his friends um, would have turned out if he never had been born. So George meant so much to so many people, and he didn't even realize that. But Clarence came down to show him what he really, really meant to people. Now, on Christmas Eve, um, a Bedford Falls, the guardian angel Clarence assigned um, to George. George was desperate. Um, he was about to commit suicide. But George was a good man. He sacrificed his dreams, like I said, in his youth on behalf of the citizens of his small town. He inherited a loan um, business from his dad, um, and later um, he resisted the proposals of the evil banker, and the banker's name was Mr. Potter. He tried to lure him in to be evil, but, you know, George didn't want to do that. He wanted to continue his dad's business um, upstanding and, and the legitimate business that it was, and he didn't want to actually like, say, sell his soul to the devil, I guess you can say. Um, he married his beloved Mary. They had four children, and it was a tough life. Life, you know, because he sacrificed a lot. He didn't get a chance to go to college like his brother. Um, and then when he got into this business and uh, his uncle lost all the money, he just knew or he just thought his life was over and he just didn't want to live anymore. He was going to commit suicide. And, and once again, that's when Clarence came down to show him what he really meant to people. Now, guys, this is a lesson for us. You know, a lot of times we look at other people's lives and we say, you know what? Oh, God, I wish I had it like them. And I never got to do this and I never get to go here. But you never know what people go through through and where God has placed you is where you should be. You're there for a reason. You're there for a purpose. God placed you there so you should be happy. And that's what Clarence was coming to show him. You know, maybe you didn't follow your big dreams. Maybe you didn't go to Ivy League college. Maybe you didn't have the big house like you wanted, but you had a you have a beautiful wife, you have four children, and you have love. And that's what it's all about. And that's why I absolutely love this movie because I think it puts everything into perspective family, friends, love, and, and what life really is. So this is my absolute favorite, favorite movie. Um, I know you guys have probably seen this before, but if you haven't, please take the time to see this. Once again, every Christmas Eve, NBC at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, this movie comes on every Christmas Eve. So please, guys, watch the movie. I know you'll absolutely love it. It has meaning. Um, it just shows you what the purpose of love and life and family is. And what greater gift is that to give on Christmas Eve?
George, the richest man in town. All right, guys, I want to thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for participating in this open collaboration. And if you didn't participate, if you just stopped by and showed your love and support, I want to thank you as well. I want to thank my beautiful, beautiful co-hosts. Um, I thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to um, share this platform with you. I want to thank the lovely Gigi over at Gigi Faison, Loving Home Decor, Miss Shani over at Shani on the Spot, the lovely Miss Debbie over at Debbie Debbie Bubbles and the awesome creatively Miss Felicia over at the Rogers House. These ladies are awesome guys. That's why I asked them to participate with me. I respect them. I think they are awesome creators and I love them to the moon and back. Guys, I want you to make sure that you go check them out. I'm going to have all their information down in the description box below. Check these ladies out. You won't be disappointed. You get to see what their family traditions are and that is going to be totally awesome and don't forget to tell them that some sent you all right guys well and also if you participated in the collaboration i thank you as well um, i'm gonna stop by i'm gonna see everybody's family tradition and i am so excited guys tomorrow is the day we are one day away from the birth of our lord and savior jesus christ so don't forget to give him a shout out that is the reason for the season guys all right my lovelies until we meet again i pray that everyone has a beautiful and blessed christmas day Day. spend it with family and friends um and just show love all right my lovelies until we meet again i'll see you on the next video have a merry christmas bye and with joy and laughter let us make memories that stay